All right, yo, what's going on, guys, and happy Monday. So overnight, I just got absolutely bombarded with messages from you guys telling me to cover this specific clip right here. As you guys know, Brittany Renner has become a bit of a friend of the show. And now she's back, you know, she's been on this press run, she's been on all these different podcasts, I saw her go on Vlad TV, and she's basically just been trying to tell her side of the story when it comes to the PJ Washington baby situation. In this instance though, you had NFL legend Deion Sanders flying her out. You see, Dion is now the head coach at Jackson State College, and I guess he wanted to teach his players how not to get finessed by a woman like her once some of them make it into the NFL. Because as you guys know, Brittany Renner is literally famous for sleeping with celebrities and famous athletes and finessing them for some money and finessing them for some personal possessions. Because y'all know how it goes. Once these guys get in the MLB, the NBA, the NFL, oh, these women are coming out in droves to try and get a piece of their action, a piece of their dinero. Let's just see what's going on. Apparently this clip is absolutely outrageous. Oh, they're ready for her. <laughs> Half the room just immediately goes bricked up. Introduce yourself and let's go from step A to Z because we got to kind of show these guys the other side right. of game. And that's mm -hmm. why you gracefully blessed us with your presence. Y'all cannot pay me to believe that Dion has not hit. The throw to the plate gets on by. Sanders flies over and now he is safe at home. You can understand from your point of view, how this game is played. So my name is Brittany Renner, aka Bundle of Brittany on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I have been on Shout social out. media for almost- Joke ain't took notes all year, but now you want to Oh my god. This man is not studying how to not get finessed. He's studying that anatomy, Jesus Christ. And that's how the game starts, with the phone. <laughs> They're going on Instagram, and they see you. Oh yeah, that phone will fuck you up. I bet Dion has been preaching this for a long time. Stay off that social media. Keep your nose clean. Be very careful with your DMs. All it takes is one DM going viral to fuck your whole shit up. Y'all remember that little white girl who fumbled the bag and snitched on Zion trying to see her at his college? Major L. And what happens? They try to get off in them DMs. And kind of take us on a journey of how this is. I bet some of them have DM'd her. Like, Already. I feel like my DMs, it's like a Nike store. There's nothing but checks. So it's just, Ooh. for me, I feel like. That's a bar. My DMs are like a Nike store. There's nothing but checks. As in blue verification checks of men trying to get at her. Hold when on, hold on, hold on. They missed that game. <laughs> <laughs> the dude taking notes. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Missed that game right there. We got it, Dion. We got it, bro. It's like a Nike store. There's nothing but blue checks. So honestly, when you reach a certain status, you can have the pick of the litter. So for me, I love how they have some motivational music going on in the background. Like this is some deep shit. And look at how thirsty this motherfucking crowd is. Jesus Christ. They are not thinking about gold digging at all. Look at this guy right here. Okay, he's ready to risk it all. He would probably give up his scholarship for five minutes with that ass. Once you reach that level just of popularity, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. And for me... But like DJ Academic said, how many of them actually want to claim her? And how many of them just want to smash? Because there is obviously a pretty big difference. Whole journey on here, I felt like my life almost felt like I was in Disney World. Like I lived in Disney World. Like you get to skip the line. You get privilege. Like... Get to jump right on all those dicks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just her talking like it's some like deep thing when all she's really been doing is like finessing and sleeping with men is actually fucking hilarious. And so a lot of guys who are in my DM, you're in my DM because of, I'm Brittany Renner. So naturally, <laughs> if you play this fucking sport, hilarious, it's kind of like, like even if we both have our own thing going on, me still being with you is a good look because you boost my stock. Just like you boost my, you know what I'm saying? Like I boost your stock. I, it's just that simple. 
Yeah, like I said in yesterday's video, you know, she's been saying that, like, her being a single mother is not gonna, like, hurt her stock value out here in these street stock markets. And after watching this video, maybe she's right, okay? You see these men are reacting for her just walking in in that skimpy little outfit. I'm surprised half of these motherfuckers ain't barking like dogs. You want to make it to the NFL, and it's kind of like, you do understand there's a lot that comes with that, right? There's gonna, like, how, it's... With great power comes great responsibility, Uncle Ben. All right, don't you fucking forget that. To be able to decipher who really loves you for you, I think that's like the billion dollar question we're all wanting to know. This is how the game is played. Please know that we putting you up on pay. Who put this fucking music in the background, bro? It's distracting me. You know, I definitely get her message, and once again, I think it's a good one. But also, once again, I think it's coming from the wrong person. I just feel like it would have been much more effective to bring, like, a former player who got absolutely finessed by some gold digger to tell these guys, you know, why they shouldn't follow in his footsteps and make the same mistakes. Once again, it's like the predator playing the victim. You know, it's kind of strange. Like, both of you can have stuff going on, but you just have to be aware nobody is just here for nothing. It's just about figuring out who could be there during the times of adversity? You know, I feel like that's kind of just life. Like when you're dealing with people in your everyday world, they're always gonna have agendas for you. They're always gonna have things they want for you and things that they don't want for you and view you in different ways based on how you fall into their little criteria. The comments are fucking hilarious. You know, everyone's saying that, you know, she ain't teaching, she's scouting, she's looking for her next victim. This has to be one of the single funniest pieces of content I've seen. The fact that they tried to take this like motivational approach. I mean, like I said, she's pretty much warning these guys about people like her. I want to know what you guys think about it down below. And as always, I do just want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a good Monday. Morning. Sorry, it was kind of a shorter upload. Don't have a lot of time today, but wanted to get something out for y'all. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Let me know what y'all think down below. And I'm out. Peace.